sometimes, a lot of times, games come out and are far from perfect. They have issues, they have technical glitches, they are not well received with reviewers. However, some of these games are worth going back and replaying as they have value, they get reduced in price, and you may disagree with how they were received by the public. And in today's video, I'm looking at five PlayStation 3 games you may want to go back and replay as I think they're okay. They are far from perfect. They have issues. Since these have come out, they've gone down in price. And now might be the time to go back and revisit these as they are fairly affordable. I have do lots of different videos on my channel and this one's a little different. So I want you to sit back, relax. You may want to grab some popcorn. Here we go. First up was a PlayStation 3 launch game and that's Untold Legends Dark Kingdoms. You can choose one of three characters, warrior, scout, mage. And you know, this is far from perfect, but there is a lot of game here. You can customize your character, level up. You can spend essence along the way. There's no stores. And some people are gonna like that. This is a multiplayer game too. You can play this with a friend. This might be a great option if you're looking for an action RPG, you just wanna romp through for the weekend. Uh, there are some flaws in this game. I think the one flaw that many people complain about was the camera. Um, it is a little repetitive as well, but if you're a big fan of action RPGs, uh, maybe you're a fan of Diablo, or maybe you're a fan of Torchlight series Gauntlet, you may want to check this out. It's it's definitely more straightforward than those games, but I think there is some value here. And I really did enjoy this back in the day. This was an early game that I played for my PlayStation 3. I did pick up a PlayStation 3 20 gig at Game Crazy back in the day. I did like the customization here. You can enchant items. You can find hidden secrets along the levels. But yeah, the camera definitely is something uh, this bothers some, but I, it didn't bother me too much. I think a lot of critics of this game just thought it was just not as good as previous PS2 games. And, you know, honestly, honestly speaking, I don't think it is as good as many action RPGs on the PlayStation 2. But if you're looking for something different, maybe you're looking for a new action RPG to check out. And this one's very affordable as well. I found myself liking the Warrior as he does a lot of damage. If you're playing by yourself, you may want to go that route. And you know, it's really like this. So overall, I think this will definitely be enjoyable over the weekend with a buddy and one that I enjoyed myself. Next up is Fracture. And this is a third person game from LucasArts. And you know, I really enjoyed this game for what it was. Uh, some people may consider this like a discount Gears of War. Uh, the story is set in the future. You're essentially East and West is fighting each other. And you know, it's, it's the cybernetic versus the genetically modified. And you know, there's a lot of cool things and features in this game. It is far from perfect, but what I have played, I enjoyed it. The big thing with fracture is that you can raise and lower the ground, the earth ground. And so the weapons in here are okay. I, I enjoy this as you progress in the campaign, there is some basic puzzle solving and it does get more complicated, but I enjoyed what I played of this. Uh, it is far from perfect. It's a single player campaign experience, you know, but you know, there is going to be some value here for those looking, especially if you like Gears of War and you want to play something different, you may want to check this out. I enjoyed what I played so far. I liked that there was some basic puzzle solving in this game and it's it is kind of straightforward uh the combat melee especially works all right and you know the camera and the blurriness may bother some people but i did enjoy this and i think it is a solid experience especially at an affordable price definitely check out Fra fracture as i think you know lucas arts kind of experimented with things outside of star wars and sometimes they they nailed it this one was kind of a mixed bag, and I think at the end of the day, especially at a discounted price, you are going to find that this is going to be enjoyable over a weekend, and I do recommend going back and playing it. This next game by Factor 5, Lair, is controversial. 
and if you play this when it came out i can agree with you that it was probably pretty terrible to play luckily it's been updated and now it has an update where you can use analog control and crosshairs which make the gameplay better this is not a rogue squadron this is dragons flying around you can land on the ground and attack as well there is some cool production values when it comes to graphics um, the dialogue is kind of funny and cheesy in that resident evil type of way um, the gameplay is pretty straightforward and I can see why some people really didn't like this. While analog support has made this game a lot better, it doesn't fix the gameplay entirely. There are some aspects that are still challenging. Just getting through the prologue, especially that final part, can be frustrating. But if you give this one a second try, I, I, I encourage you to stick with it, especially if you can get this cheap, which it is very affordable. And I think you're gonna find an enjoyable fantasy experience here, especially if you like dragons or you know that type of medieval setting. Uh, I found myself enjoying this, but I put it in a separate category from Rogue Squadron, as I think this isn't as good. But if you're a fan of the company and want to see some other games that they made, you may want to check this out. I enjoyed what I played of this game. I also got it secondhand and very affordable. I think I paid like, I don't know, like eight bucks for this copy. And so, you know, if you paid full price of this game, definitely would be frustrated. But going back and checking it out now, I found it to be fairly enjoyable. I do not recommend this game though, if you have no way of updating the game as the analog control makes it much more playable and if you can't update the game don't bother this next one is a budget demolition game and it's mayhem it comes with traditional 3d glasses which you don't need to use it's got an interesting comic book style presentation and some people are going to love it and others going to hate the presentation i love it I love these type of demolition racers. It's got a, a variety of tracks, um, but really it comes down to whether or not you like these types of games. Uh, this is not a quality uh, on the level of Wreckfest, but if you have a PlayStation 3 or it's even on Xbox 360, you may want to check this out. I really enjoyed this one. I like the, the, the presentation of it. It's got a really cool look to it and it plays well. I enjoyed playing this and checking it out. You know, uh, these types of games can be found fairly cheap. This one probably of all the ones I'm showing today is a little on the uncommon side, but you can still get this fairly affordable. It is one to two players, and I think this would be a fun game, especially if you like these types of demolition racing style games. It is a little bit different, and uh, you know, for me, this is one I definitely would recommend to others. And I want to thank my friend Corey for introducing this to me a long time ago as I have enjoyed it. Another controversial pick is Aliens Colonial Marines. Now this had some disastrous development. It took a long time and it's far from perfect. It has uh, some graphic issues, some glitches, and the AI is not the best. I highly recommend updating this game before you play it. Uh, there's some different modes i'm showing the campaign here which you can do campaign co-op and if you are a big fan of the first two alien movies you're gonna love the nods to the series is it as good as the movies absolutely not but i feel that you know this game has got a lot of criticism and rightfully so for some of it but going back and getting this second hand for like 10 bucks I feel that there's a lot of value here. There's some fun here, blowing up aliens. It definitely has a cool environment. It's got you know the, the soundtrack from the alien movies. It's got the feel of it. Um, you know, as, as, as the game progresses, there's some issues with the story. But I think if you're a big alien fan, you may wanna check this out, especially if you can get it at an affordable cost. I enjoyed what I played. It's far from perfect. It can be challenging in certain areas and certain level aren't made for a campaign co-op, but I did enjoy what I played and it might be worth checking out. So the five games that I shared today, some of them are gonna give 
strong opinions. Have you played these? What did you think of them? Did you pay full price for them? All these games that I shared today are games I got along the way. Many of them used back in the day and I've had in my collection quite a long time. So I want to hear your stories about these games. Did you like them? Did you agree with my picks? Are these games that you like or dislike? Comment below. And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. I offer a wide variety of different videos. And if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading content every week. Let's keep it positive. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a great day.